In this video, you and I are going to figure out how to bomb the Man Up 3D defense for an absolute laser over the top in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to hit subscribe. We upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player in Madden 22. We upload videos that can help you on offense as well on defense and this is an absolute money play. Now the way that Madden 22 is made, I believe that one of the most important things for you to be able to do is be able to score at the end of the half and so this is a concept that I've been working on out of my Seattle Seahawks offensive guide. If you want to get the full offensive system um, it is available down below i have the full guide available for you written setups video breakdowns um, for just 15 bucks so it's down in the description it's on sale right now it covers the entire seattle playbook and we're going to be updating it as um, the early patches come out maybe change some things but really quickly here, I wanted to break down this concept that I found out of the Verticals play. Uh, Vertical is probably the best play this year, in my opinion. And this is a really good Man of 3D beater. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press coverage and then I'm going to shade my coverage up. That's what a lot of pros will do uh, at the end half. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to put the R1 on a fade and we're going to motion the circle receiver to the outside. And what you're going to see here is this R1 is going to absolutely cook this man up three deep. The problem is, as you can see, I get this kind of catch tackle animation that keeps me from getting the touchdown. But as you can see, it's an absolute laser against man up three deep. It's really, really uh, consistent. Now, what I like to do is just, if you streak the running back, oftentimes they'll go user the running back just because they kind of think that you're gonna throw it to him. So I'll just streak the running back here. And what you'll see is that right there gets wide open over the top. Now, let me show you that one more time. And um, now what I wanna show you is another little trick that I like to do. Again, I'm shading over top. So I'm literally shading over top every time. It's not shaded down, trust me. Um, I would never lie to you about that. Uh, but anyways, I put the running back on a wheel route. And the reason why I put the running back on a wheel route is we're trying to pull this safety to get him out of the middle of the field. But basically, once we get it up, you're just gonna lob it to the right, click on. And as you can see, you can do a little swerve catch. And most of the time you'll get a pretty daggone good gain against this man of three deep. Now the problem exists whenever your opponent goes to a prevent defense. So if they go to a prevent defense, I just wanna show you the difference. This is a zone coverage. And now what you're gonna see is the zones are gonna react a little bit different. And unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to hit the R1. But don't worry, we have you covered. I'm gonna show you a way that you can get an absolute dot. Now again, this isn't a one place score yet. We're working on this concept. So if you guys have ideas for routes, let me know in the comments. But, um, but what I really like about this, so I'm gonna go to verticals again, put that fade out there to the R1. I want you to watch the circle receiver. You're gonna see here that everyone's going to attract to the R1 receiver, and you're gonna see this is an absolute laser to the circle receiver on the sideline. Now we're on my 20 yard line. So imagine if we were on the, I mean, shoot, let's just stay on the 20 yard line, but look at the map. We're gaining like, 60 to 70 yards a pop this is in my opinion the best way that you can get your offense down the field quick out of this play verticals um, specifically against the man up three deep type of prevent defenses one of my other favorite little tricks is to put the running back on a curl or an option route the reason why um, is what you're going to see is they're typically going to, I don't know what Brady's doing there, but that safety is really where the bread and butter comes from. We have to get the safety to kind of move uh, to the left side of the field. Now, obviously there's several different ways that we can do that. Again, I'm shading coverage up. I really want you to understand I'm shading coverage up. Um, but what I'm gonna do with my running back is I'm gonna put him on uh, a wheel route to the left side or an option route. One of the two are typically what I found work best. And then, then I'm just gonna lob this up as soon as I have a step. And that time, you see, I'm going to get over the top, and there we go, beat man up three deep over the top for a one-play score. Now, really quickly, I want to identify something that you're going to see common in this year's game, and that is the user control is not good enough for them to be able to go with you. The user control is not good enough for them to be able to go with you. So you get off that jam, you get that bomb, now you've literally got them over the top for an absolute laser. As long as Brady doesn't hit him in the back of the head, he leads him out a little bit more. This is going to be a literal bomb against this coverage. Now, the next thing I wanna go over is the zone uh, variation of this with the prevent defense. And I just wanna show you what's gonna happen. Now you're gonna see they're gonna sit up on him just like this, and I'm just gonna wait 
And what you'll see here is I have a really interesting little window to hit this circle receiver. Let me show it to you again um, out of the prevent. Now, I didn't talk about cover three yet. I'm going to go over that in just a second. But prevent is the defense I want to show you. So, again, prevent defense. Put R1 on a fade. Running back on a wheel. Snap the ball. And I want you to watch these routes develop. See this route that I can throw? That's literally a laser. And, and here's the thing. Um, here's the thing with that route. That specific route, it really can get you into field goal range late in the half. So if you got like seven seconds, this is probably my favorite play just to get down the field quick. Let me show it to you this time against the cover three defense. What you're going to see against cover three is this R1 receiver is going to kill it over the top for a one play score every single time. Now, I want to show you one other little concept that you might consider uh, when running this play, specifically against the prevent uh, defense that you might face. Obviously, you've been able to see we're able to bomb the, the other two coverages, but prevent is the one that I haven't figured out how to quite get over the top yet. But let's just take a look at this. So this is prevent. And what you'll see is if I try to hit this R1, they play it really well, as you can see. They, it's just not open. So we have to figure out a concept uh, for that prevent defense. But as you can see, man up three deep, dot. Cover three, dot. We can dot prevent, we just can't bomb it uh, just yet. So if you wanna bomb prevent, at least this is just off the top of my head, one of the things that I would tell you to do is to take the uh, square receiver and try to put him on like a skinny post or some type of slant or something. And what you'll see here is we can still hit this dot. I mean, look at how far down the field that gets. That's an, that's an absolute laser against prevent. So anyways, we do have lasers against prevent. We just don't have anything over the top yet. These are uh, inside quarters and a middle third, really hard to get over the top of that. One of the things that you could do um, is take the running back and put him on a, um, a curl route. I wanna show you that as well. Obviously we need that fade and wheel combination against cover three, so I don't wanna change that. But take a look at this, just pass lead it straight up, click on, you're gonna get a one-on-one -on -one at least, but you're not gonna be able to get over the top of prevent, at least not yet. Um, I personally haven't figured it out, but what I would tell you against prevent real quickly, is if you take a look, you're going to notice that they're an outside quarter and inside quarter. So we do have a play that can bomb that in the fact that the clear out play. And so you're going to see here, if they're in that defense, take a look at what clear out can do. You see here, you're going to get at least a one-on-one -on -one over the top. And you could potentially aggressive catch that as well. But anyways, guys, that's kind of the the... The, where we kind of run into a little bit of issue so far as pre bit but man up three deep we got you covered and cover three we have you absolutely dotting um out of this play so you know a lot of good stuff in my opinion make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want to get my full uh seattle seahawks offensive playbook that breaks this down in depth I'd encourage you to get that. Again, there's going to be a link down in the description. So we can dot up prevent. We just can't get a one play yet, but we're working on it. Thanks for watching. If you want to get my Seahawks guide, the full system, the full offense that shows you how to put up at least 50 points a game, there's a link in the description where you can go pick it up for just 15 bucks uh, at the website.